Welcome to Hard Rock Stadium. The smoke machine is rolling, and the Miami Hurricanes making their customary grand entrance onto the field. Today, a clash between a couple of ACC rivals in a game that could have big-time implications for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Duke Blue Devils taking on the 23rd-ranked team in the land, the Miami Hurricanes. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Blue Devils will put total leather and will get started. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Miami's offense is on the field for the first time today. And here he comes, and you may think that you can take a wide receiver out of the game plan, but Jesse, with this guy, he sort of believes, I'm him. I'm the dude. Yeah, and he gives defensive coordinators nightmares, too. I swear, when you watch this guy's highlight tape, man, he scares you to death with his speed. He can take the top off the defense. He can change the game, David, on any given play. And so how many different ways can I continue to give him touches? You know, they're, they're going to split him out wide. I'd hand him the football. I'd throw it to him quick. I'd throw it to him deep. This is a playmaker that will be featured. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Movement here from the tight end. Give to the back. Getting that push, a pickup of four out to the 26. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Third down, and they'll need two on this initial drive of the game. They'll try to run for it. He'll have the first down as he gets it to the 28-yard line before he stops. It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance, opening drive of the game. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first. You're around midfield. And all things looking pretty good here early for this offense. They'll try the run. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give to the back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. Now facing a third and long. Looking to throw, it's Ward. Unloads to the right. A strike downfield. Off he goes. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. And the Canes are moving quickly down the field. Leaves it with the back. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. You've got to be loving what you're seeing from your offense here on the opening drive of this game. They're in a really nice rhythm. They've got real good balance going on right now, and they've got the defense on their heels. And the Hurricanes have it with a first and ten. He's got it on the right. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. And I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. 
Fast motion from the offense. Looks as if he's going to run it. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Hurricane. And that's why this offense is so hard to stop, guys. This quarterback in Hershey throwing it and running it. With his speed, he can make people look silly. And you saw it right there on the opening drive of the game. What a beautiful touchdown. Man. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. They put together an 81-yard drive and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. Fielded in the end zone, it's Jones. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. So Duke's offense has the ball for the first time. You know, David, both of these teams have a strong safety that can support the run and also disruptive in the passing game. I mean, it's just so nice to have a guy that's so physical, like a linebacker, but also can play like a DB. These guys are going for a big play right off the bat. Oh, right through his hands. They came out attacking, wanted to impose their will, and they missed a big chance on that one. Well, on defense, they know that this offense is going to try and take shots. They're going to try and keep their secondary players in a position to make these types of plays. Good job on the back end forcing that incompletion. Looking downfield, it's Murphy. This one's complete. Knocked down at the 26 after ripping off 10 there. Great job by the offense. Listen, if the defense is going to sit back in zone, you know what you got to do. Run those crossers across the formation. Those guys that are looking at the quarterback, they're not trying to pick up receivers all the time. Make those precise throws right in those holes. Get those first downs. Get those big chunks. They'll run it from the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down, man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. Leaves it with the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. But how fast did they get in there and make that tackle for a loss? If you blinked, you missed it. Nice job by the defense getting penetration. Everybody up near the line of scrimmage, shooting the gaps quick, getting in the backfield, getting the guy in the They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. And the Blue Devils racing to the line in the hurry up. Off play action on first down. Throws to the wide out. It's complete. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. You see it more and more. Smaller wide receivers, I don't care about their size anymore. I put them in the slot. I let them get a good matchup. They're so quick, people can't get their hands on them. They make plays, and I feed them the football. These are guys that have a lot of catches throughout a season. Off play action. Pocket starts to collapse. No more time to throw. Quarterback is sacked at the 35. Wow, and the Miami linebacker shows you his speed on that play. And linebacker in speed, synonymous when you're thinking about Miami Hurricane defense. Think about Ray Lewis, Jonathan Vilma, Dan Morgan, DJ Williams. Guys that can go sideline to sideline and guys that can rush the passer. Not easy to block. So now on second and long, you start to think, just don't fall out of field goal range. 
Out of the gun, the running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that's what makes this defense so difficult to run against. They've got guys up front that just push offensive linemen backwards. They basically push the blockers right into the lap of that running back. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. Looking downfield, it's Murphy. Quickly complete. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. All right, nice gain on third down there. No, you didn't get the first down. Now it's a thought process, right? Early in the game, do I want to show aggressiveness or am I going to be a little bit passive? Your decision, go for it or not. And they'll send out the field goal unit. He boomed it through a 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. Yeah, and you know, you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talking about create balance, you know, run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive, he had way too much time to throw. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Arroyo. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Caught near the sticks. It's Restrepo. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Jukes his way for more. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Trying to impose their will with the run. At the 40, there he goes! And they'll get enough for the first down, and that's how things will come to a close here in the first quarter. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. And they've swapped ends of the field, and we'll get it going in the second. The Hurricanes are moving quickly down the field. To the ground with the back. 25 and they'll finally catch up to him but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up i'll tell you the defense is going to have to do a much better job containing these outside run plays they better be able to funnel the football back to the middle of the field because this guy with his speed can kill you like he did on that outside run play there to the left the canes will snap it on first and ten hands it off makes a man miss Thank you. 
Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Leaves it with the back. Hurts his way ahead for about three. It's down at the eight. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Back to pass, it's Ward. He wants it all. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Kane. And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing into the game because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game day. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. So it's a 77-yard touchdown drive, and they finish things off with an 8-yard toss for the score. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can... And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. They'll leave it with him. Works his way ahead for three. They'll spot it at the 18. Now, that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. To throw, it's Murphy. Fires to the wideout. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of this spot. Nice execution by this defense. The Blue Devils will try to pin them back with the punt. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball down. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. Might as well give it to him again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Great play by the defense there. And listen, they got to do more of this. Running backs obviously had a lot of success. They got to continue to stop this run game, be physical, and not let this guy beat him. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. The back goes in motion. Looking to pass on second down. With the catch, it's Martinez. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Love the play by the defense. They just did a good job understanding where the running back was on that play. After the catch, they're able to make the tackle right away, and now they've set up third down. This is a third and long.
He's looking downfield to throw. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. He couldn't quite get loose on that return, but he'd already made the play, and they've got it at the 35. Well, that's the danger about being in a third and long situation. You've got to push the football downfield, and the defense is expecting it. So they've got guys in the back end with their eyes on the QB. They're able to make the interception. This offense is going to have to do a better job generating better plays early in drives moving forward. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. After picking up a couple at second and eight. They go to the draw. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. Wide receiver coming across in motion. The run from the shotgun. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Well, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. To the air, it's Murphy. And good blocking in space out there to give him enough room to pick up the first down. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. And the Blue Devils are on the move. Gonna run it. It's more. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eighth. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come over. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And you could tell the, the QB wants to run. He's going to be a big part of the game plan. And the defense really, really understands that. I got to understand. And more importantly, when I get a lick on this cat, I got to take it. Like, not dirty, not cheap shots, but end of the plays, when I can be physical and really make him feel me, I think that'll always bode well in a fourth quarter game. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. To the air, it's Murphy. Firing to the right, complete. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. This is no surprise to defenses anymore. Everybody throws wide receiver screens, and you could tell they were ready for it. They saw the quick game, they pounced on it, got the wide receiver on the ground. That's not the first time they've seen that. This is a money play on third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. They won't let him in. He had a nose for that end zone, but he will be stopped short. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. And they're going to head out to line up for a field goal. Tried to give it enough body English, but he missed it. 
My goodness, you need those field goals, guys, to cut into that deficit. We're still at 11. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw it this drive. After that last incompletion, here's second and 10 from their own 20. He's looking to throw. He's got him this time. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. Love the accurate throw by the quarterback there. Curl route against man coverage. You got to put that right into the body of the wide receiver who's running back towards you. Nice job executing it, and they pick up the first. It's first and 10 from the 31. They're bringing heat. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. That's a good example there of complementary defense. The DBs and linebackers are playing zone. They're playing their spaces, and they force the QB to, to have to hold the ball, try to work through his progressions, and then the pass rush. They win up front. Didn't make it any easier on themselves on first down. Now second and long from the 21. They'll turn to Martinez. Low man wins, and he just smashed him. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a terrific start from there in beautiful Miami Gardens. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that said, let's send it back to the guys in the shadows of South Beach. And the Canes will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. They'll start the third quarter with the run. Not much doing there. He gets it to the 26, a gain of one. The Blue Devils are in the hurry up. To the air, it's Murphy. They're trying to get to it. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. In the second half, trailing the way they are, they know they're going to have to be able to throw the football to get back into it, but you can't accomplish that if you can't keep your quarterback standing upright. Give the defense tons of credit getting that sack on third down. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down, or else they are really in trouble. Feeling some heat. I don't think that's the way they drew it up. Incomplete. And you got to wonder if this offense is going to go for it here. They're trailing now by a lot. I know there's a lot of football still to go, and I know they're on their own end of the field, but just kind of get the feeling. Their defense hasn't gotten a ton of stops. They may need to stay out there, and they're going to need this quarterback to make a play. And the Blue Devils will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Get 
So after the first down run, here's second down. He's looking to throw. Got his man in the middle. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Well, the drag route's put in this playbook to fight against man-to-man -man coverage. So there you see the receiver using his speed, working his way across the field. He gets separation on the DB, trying to trail him, makes the catch, turns it upfield for the first. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Back to throw, it's Ward. It's caught downfield. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. And I just love having matchups out wide that I know can win. Guys that are so fast on the perimeter and threaten with speed, and guys start bailing and getting out of there and on third down, and I need that yardage, I can go to him, and he'll get the first down on the corner. Out of the gun, the give to the back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. They'll run it to the right. He showed off the stiff arm, but apparently he needed a couple more. A lot of defenders around to stop him. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? From the gun, wants to pass. Catch in the middle, it's Restrepo. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. Here's the handoff. Fights off a defender. This running back just doesn't go down easy. It's just difficult for defenses to get him on the ground. Not overly huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him and just, you know what, let his talent do the rest. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Martinez on the carry. Stop is made almost immediately. Give him one to the 23. Headed to the line at the 23, trying to convert this third and short. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse's showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. Man, the last thing you want after controlling the ball, moving it down the field, is to have to settle for a field goal attempt. It's third and goal. To the air, it's Ward. Let's it fly! And he's got it in the end zone! Touchdown, Miami! That dude's really big. How in the world did they lose him? Just down here, he does a lot of blocking. You play a lot of man coverage in the red zone. And what do you do? You peek in the backfield, and you lose the big fan. I don't know how he lost that big of a guy, 
but he lost the race. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's more. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. They go to the ground. That hole closed quickly, a pickup of one to the 15. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. With the catch, it's Harvey. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. I love playing man-to-man -man defense, and I love getting up in your kitchen and jamming you at the line of scrimmage, but it's really hard when they start running these crossing routes and drags and ends because now I'm in chase mode, and the QB has a little bit of space a lot of times, and those fast guys can create some separation and get a first down like they did there. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And trying to put points on the board on third down, now they're staring at fourth down. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, he thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, they're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end, you're expecting them to punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. On that last drive, defense had no idea what was happening. Run or pass, and it wound up in the end zone, Jesse. Yeah, you saw the experience in this offense that last drive, too, on that touchdown. Everybody on the same page. These guys have repped these plays over and over in practice and in games, and it's working. Yeah, so I got to find a way to disrupt it. I, I got to find a way to maybe be more aggressive, maybe blitz, mess up this rhythm they got going. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Just a short pass to the tight end. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Yeah, and tight ends aren't just line up and block guys anymore. These guys are athletes. You line them up all over the field. And nowadays, you can start to feature them more and more in the passing game. Now on second down. Going to the ground. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. It's the M.O. of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Dropping back, it's Ward. And the quarterback is snowed under. It is hard to get sacks on screens. I mean, the offensive linemen stay with you for a little bit. Defensive linemen squirt through. A lot of times they read the screen and backpedal. Not on this one. They got through, got to the quarterback, got him on the ground. Not good execution by the offense, but it still counts as a sack. And the Canes send out the punt unit. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. And Duke has the ball back, ready to go on the attack. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Really nice stop there from this senior leader.
We've reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. And they've built a comfortable lead after three quarters of play. Let's take a look at how we've gotten here. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Finds his big tight end. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. When I'm a quarterback and I see zone and I see my guy curl up real quick, I got to hum it. And he threw that thing with some revolutions, with some velocity right to his receiver so he can make the catch. The Blue Devils come to the line with a new set of downs. Going up top on first down, trying to get to it. And the defense gets to the quarterback. We've seen throughout the course of the season, defenses have had their hands full with this quarterback. He's simply one of the best in the country. But what can you say about this defense here today? They have gotten after him, registering multiple sacks, and they've never let him get into a rhythm. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. Dropping back, it's Murphy. Quickly complete. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Complete to the left. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big-time playmaker outside picks up the first. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. Looking to throw on second down. Unloads to the wideout. Find space on the right. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Yeah, and he runs a quick out route, and this is a timing route. Quarterback has to trust him, throw him the football. You can tell they've thrown this a time or two. Nice job, nice success. First and goal, and this feels like their chance to give him a finish. They'll try to get it in with the run. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Now it's second and goal. Looking for a man. It's Murphy. He caught it. And he will score. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Ready to try the point after. And with the extra point, they draw closer. It's 21 to 10. They march 78 yards down the field, and they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. They've cut into this lead. It's down to 11 as they're set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. 
Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Gets it out to the 20 after a pickup of four. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Snagged in the middle. It's Restrepo. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, running back gets to give. Still running at the 40. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. The big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The give out of the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, force feed it to him and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game, and the defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. Safe completion on the screen. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching. Keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. He leaves it with his back. And the Hurricanes will move the sticks with the first down. These situations are preached so much in college football. Finishing a game strong, understanding circumstances. They are running the football right at you, trying to keep that clock moving, get a few first downs, and get a W. The Hurricanes will line it up on first and ten. From the gun, running back on the move. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Everything going the offense's way. They're trying to ice this game late. They've got a really nice lead. So you just want to run the ball, high percentage throws, and keep the chains moving, and they're doing that. This has been a beautiful drive to watch. Offense continues to stay in a nice rhythm here late. They'll run it on first and goal. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Picked up some of what they needed on first down. Now it's second and goal from the five. 
and he's able to shed one tackle, but still just a very short gain. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. A huge chance for points here on third and goal, and if they can get it in, we might have ourselves a finish. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. And he'll boot one from the right hash. He ought to be able to navigate that angle from this distance. Never a doubt. And that lead grows even bigger. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And the Duke offense heads back out onto the field. Working the middle of the field and it's complete. And the catch was one thing and the run even better. A big pick up on that one. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback could throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. Finds a soft spot in the middle. At the 45 on its way. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. Looking to pass. It's Murphy getting some heat. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. And that's exactly what this defense needed. They needed to have something positive. Giving up some yardage, they've given up some plays, no big deal. Got right back in it on this drive with that big sack. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running, second down coming. And they spike it and get the clock stopped. They've got a ways to go on third down from the 24 as this defense tries to force them into a field goal try. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires toward the end zone. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hold on just a minute. We might have a finish here. If we had any chance to make this happen, we had to score with a little bit of time on the clock. Now we need a miracle. Now, now we need to kick the onside, get an onside kick, and somehow, some way, make a big play. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is good as they close to within a touchdown, 24-17. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. 25 kicks remaining. There's enough time if they can recover this onside kick. And a few anxious moments, but the hands team is able to fall on it. And this is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time you, when you know it's coming and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football. The first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is over. 